still very far. We're still in the uh, Rodic area. Okay, you get to deal with a drunk. Get a Nordic sword. And some broker. Nice, that's who we're looking for. We still have a few bandits. Just not seeing the kind of weapons we want. Let's head up through this channel again. See if we can find some mountain bandits. <laughs> Talk to Freychen and see if he can get us some... I don't think he likes me very much. Oh. Yeah, this is the kind of quest I don't want to take. This just will cause another faction to attack you on sight once you start attacking their caravans and villages. So, I don't think we're going to do that. And man, are we having some difficulty finding bandits. Well, more leveling though. Half our spearmen leveled. A land has leveled. Okay, we've maxed out, or we've gotten his strength where we want it. How's his trainer? His trainer ability is not real high. Let's go ahead and get his intelligence up. Trainer can only... We'll go ahead and give him another point in power strike. He's got a two-handed weapon right now. So I'm going to go ahead and keep him investing points there. I feel like we should head back over to the Nord area. Let's run through here real quick, see if large group of forest bandits or just something challenging. Well, it's not 14. Is that the level they have now? Alright, we'll, we'll chase these guys for a while at least. What's this? Oh, they have a manhunter. Oh, that's Swati and Footman. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go after the forest bandits that have a manhunter. We're traveling at 5-5. Five five. I think they're also traveling at 5-5. Five five. That's going to be difficult. Just saw 25 guys on some kind of deserter. over 50 men. I want to make sure that the guys that need to level are up front. <coughs> I don't want to chase the crossbowmen into the forest or the mountains. I want them to stay kind of right where they are. They would be so kind. This guy wants to do in its work. So this is where we're going to see why our, why our max 
maxed out troops in that city. I'm gonna have max infantry in position. And the infantry charge. And then left with the cavalry. Considering most of that was done with lower level infantry that would rather kill. Five spearmen. Five trained spearmen. Look at that. That's really good leveling. And then one hunter becomes a crusher and then we're also going to have our very first maxed out cavalry so I'm going to go ahead and create a group for them and we'll call this max cav and anytime we have a max cavalry that we don't want involved in the combat we can just throw them in that group and then tell them to hold position somewhere. Okay, let's keep moving. And Mira's back. Nice. Which means I need to move her up and send somebody else off. What I do is, since Jeremus was the first, then Amira, they're at the bottom of the list now. So I can just keep going through the list and we'll talk to Ferentis now and say, hey, don't you know I want to be king? Support my cause. As long as you're doing this without being part of faction, the king of that faction, or whatever their title is, will not be upset with you. However, don't stop just because you're part of a faction. You'll just hear about it from that king at some point. He says, hey, I hear you've been Spreading rumors. I hope that's not true. Let's see. Do we have any blunt weapons? Well, you've got the two-handed version. Heavy one at that. Masterwork Warbow. Yeah, I've never had a character even close to having a high enough agility to wield that. Nice, Jeremus has leveled. This is why trainers so important. We're getting good experience. It just wouldn't happen otherwise. Okay, Jeremus has a 9 strength. I'm going to keep investing in his ability to level. Uh, he has Weapon Master 0. Okay, we, we can't put that point there then. We'll give him strength and then we'll have to do Weapon Master. Because I don't think he could have gotten above 60 without that point. We need to get him 
Well, I think he already has a pretty good weapon. I think he has my old... Oh, yeah, we bought him a spike vice. Okay. Let's see if we can get him some better armor. Let's head over to where, Chegg. Oh. 25 of them. I don't think we're going to pass that opportunity up. Today the gods will decide your fate. I'm going to leave because we're in the mountains. And that would be an ugly fight in the mountains. I'm not even sure why that's part of the game. It's a very frustrating to fight like that. Today the gods will decide your fate. Oh, we got it. A bit of it anyway. Alright. Have everyone follow me and stay off of the hills. See if we can Yes, they're right there. That's good. Okay. Max infantry hold. Infantry charge. Calvary's with me. Uh, keep losing some of our Roto troops. I kind of don't want to kill any of these guys. I want to let our infantry have at it. Finish him. There we go. Nine wounded. Not bad. Throwing axes is something Clethy can use. Spearman leveled. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember what I wanted to do. Clethy. She's got Jared's and Bent Jared's. I think those Bent Jared's are not going to be as good as. Well, those are 39. That's 42. So even bent Jared's are better than throwing axes. Well, that's interesting. And I think that, yeah, the Jared's only require power throw too. Okay. We won't switch it then. Let's head over to Rivicheg. We got 17 prisoners. Nords. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm going to have to decline 
I don't have to. like to fight with the Vagars, and of course Rivichag is where our die works is all right why not let's do it let's do it hopefully so one thing we want to do is we want to find out who are we fighting with so we're gonna look at our faction relations report Nords are fighting with no one at the moment that's rather shocking <laughs> Ransom broker, nice. So we had seven thousand. Now we have nine thousand. That's really good. Our vendor's starting to get a little low on money because of all the gear we've been selling them. carrying around these really nice boots <laughs> this whole time. Okay. Fifty-one men. Now we gotta start being careful. The Nords like to fight. And they like to fight the Vagars more than anyone. And we're in the heartland of that. So if there is a war that breaks out, we have to be very careful about getting out of the area in one piece. That's nice. 29 Sea Raiders. We'll definitely run them down if we can. Today the gods will decide your fate. All right, everyone, follow me. Max infantry, hold. Max cavalry, hold. Infantry. Charge. So, we do need to participate in this fight. Oh man, I just ran into a tree and got surrounded. That was not good. One of these times, I'm gonna hit one of these guys. Cavalry the charge, they can go run down anybody who's trying to escape. some good helmets coming. Good shield too. We can equip Leon and Nishavi with some better equipment and possibly well, I don't have enough of them. 
going to say possibly others with better helmets, but that's not going to happen. What kind of shield do you have? Okay, pretty good. Let's see if we can equip the Shavi with a better helmet. Yeah, I know that shield she have is really bad. Let's go ahead and get her a reinforced one. Level up. gives us 11 infantry that's not maxed out all right so we have the town of Mechin that was given to us by the Nord King where is this town I want to say it's near the borderland with Swal it's what yeah yeah it is Let's see if we can get rid of our prisoners. I'd really like to equip our companions with better equipment. Well, look at that. Four man hunters. We are going to run to Corral and hope that we can sell our prisoners off. And then we're going to turn around and run those guys down. That way. We can sell 19 here, and hopefully another 20 there. I'm going to go ahead and go to the marketplace, get rid of some stuff. Heavy javelins. They're not as good as Jared's. Get rid of these, get, get rid of that. Don't need it, don't need it. I think I need that either. Okay. Let's go run down these guys. Quit running. To stand and fight. So these are archers. charge because shields are going to be needed against no I don't want to retreat against archers yeah, these guys are very skilled so we definitely want to distract them so we don't lose a bunch of infantry get out on it should be fine but till then this is really scary Twenty-five wounded, but four man hunters is awesome. Okay, 
20 beggar prisoners. That should be worth a lot. That's a nice helmet. Level them up. Want to move these manhunters up a little bit. Okay. Let's go back to Kara. Get rid of our prisoners to that ransom broker. Man, that didn't take long. He's already gone. Okay. Sell off these little vests. That's a nice helmet. I think we'll be replacing somebody's helmet with that. Maybe. No, not Amira. She's got a nice one. Maybe Clethys. She's got 26 head armor. Yeah, this is much better. Bathurstur, what do you got? 24, yep. You take the hand-me-down. And we'll just sell this one. That's... Ooh, I could totally afford it. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to... Spend that 10,000 on a die works. So Kara should have pretty decent die works as well. It's not anything like Rivichag, but hopefully we'll be making about 500. That's the horse merchant. I need the guild master. I think he's on the steps over here. Okay. Good, I don't have to go make friends with somebody. Yep, 523. So that's good. You get enough of these and you don't even have to worry about capturing prisoners. You just make a lot of money off of all your businesses and your towns and your villages and your castles. It's, it's the way you make the monies. Okay, we've only got 1825. How much? Ooh, it cost a thousand. But we don't have to worry too much about it costing a thousand because we'll be making money real soon on this die works and we're already making money on the other die works so we're already self-sufficient but there seem to be some really good groups of oh we never we never sold that's right we still have Sea Raiders to get rid of. Let's try Raviden. Yes. Eighteen twenty five to forty six twenty five. Sea Raiders are worth a good amount. There's some war bows, but they're gonna be in bad shape, yep. I don't know why we are having so much trouble finding military hammers. Should be a bit of a randomized roll to get them. And we're just not finding them. Okay.
Let's head back over here towards Kudan. I feel like, well, I feel like we need to get some food. Maybe something that's not green. getting a lot of men you just tend to buy lots of food thirty four tundra bandits that'll be a good fight nope don't go to the hill don't go to the hill thank you everybody follow me Start utilizing these commands. Send my cavalry over there. See him running off. Nice. Neat. Got everybody else with me. I'm going to say, everyone charge. get the experience. We're just getting to the point where we have enough maxed out troops that it doesn't make sense to make the maxed out troops stay behind. 26 wounded. We'll take 20 of those. Prisoners, maybe. Wolf and a farmer. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the war bow. I don't have anybody who can use it. But there will be a time when I'm going to be looking for them. Kind of like I am the military hammers now. Over to Ravenon. The one part I don't like about having prisoners is I find myself running all over the place just to find a ransom broker. If you're wondering, I hate hiring mercenary cavalry or hired blades. They're just so expensive. They'll make you go broke in a hurry. So we've already got 5,000 dinars. Look at that. We were just nearly broke after buying that dye works. And yes, we have a dye works in two Vagar cities. So when we go to war with Vagar, that's going to hurt. Okay, Alain has leveled. Let's get his intelligence.
intelligence up. Point of trainer. And I think we'll give him some iron flush. Really need to get him some, need to get everybody better weapons. Follow me. Send the cavalry off to the right side. They'll be there. Totally send them off to the other side. The left side instead. Well, that's not as good. Just lost a slaver chief. That must have been quite a shot. It's a maxed out troop. There's his horse. prisoners that we can tote around. That's an awful lot of money. Okay, we got some leveled. Namira. Look at you. Eleven. Trainer 2. I think I'm going to start raising her archery. Ability to attend. Get our trainer to a 4. Raise our archery. Let's see if Rivacheg has a ransom broker. That's a close town. It does. So 53, 68 dinars. And now 74, 48, almost 2,000 dinars for those prisoners. Oh, nice. Military hammer. Definitely, definitely picking that up. Okay. Give this military hammer to somebody. How about Amira? We'll give it to Amira. She needs to level up fast. And that 
heavy flanged mace is going to be better than pretty much everybody's. Yeah, you got it chipped. Okay, we'll do that. Now we'll sell off the other. What's this? There's a heavy military hammer. Oh my goodness. Jackpot. Oh, I already had one. Okay. I think we're going to give the heavy one to Jeremus. Let our resident doctor level up a little faster. And he's got a good spiked mace. We're going to give that to somebody else. Huh. We'll give it to Bathister. Oh yeah, he had a terrible mace. That is so nice. Having trouble finding the heavy or the military hammer and then finding two in one town. Okay, let's find a couple more, uh, let's check our, well I guess our, yeah our renown had to have been over 200 or we wouldn't have been offered that town or that village. Alright Nords, I'm ready for you to declare war on somebody. Guess what we can do? Let's go ahead and max out our party size at 65 and with some more Rodok spearmen or Rodok tribesmen. Get them leveled up. And then we'll be ready to take our first castle or town whenever war is declared. Let's just head back over to the Rodok area. here. Oh, Lord Warriors. Yeah, I don't want any piece of that. Those guys are tough. I just don't want to lose any of our men. When we're finally ready to do battle. Rentus is back. Okay. Wonder what he's wielding. A sword. Oh my gosh. I never even gave him a blunt weapon. Alright. We'll fix that in a little bit. Let's start over here in Ceramish and See if we can get some more Rodok tribesmen. None. Okay. I guess we could go make nice with the villages and then they'll offer us more men when we do come ask for them. Or even leveled up. Oh, they want training. Okay. I guess we can do that. Oh, but we get to recruit because we just increased our... Oh, let's dunk on it. They still didn't give us any. And since we do have training ability, this will go a little faster. Got to remember to level up a couple guys too. Okay, practice fight with just, with just one. Okay. Just Clethian to Shavi. Alright, 
We'll get Clethy to nine. That way we can get her trainer to three. And then power strike. Sounds good. Level up her throwing. And one handed. And then to Shavi. Guess we'll go for your. Yeah, definitely go for your strength. Get your power draw to three. Just keep leveling that archery. And I think I've already given you a better bow. I did. Okay. That's good. Head over to Emer. Okay, so Nords are now at war. But with the Serenid Sultan. So I don't like going to war with the Kurgic Khanate or the Serenid Sultan because of all the cavalry. We're just going to keep getting some troops here. Oh, you know what? I totally left that first town without finish the training olives aren't bad okay we'll go over here and continue training Let's see how much training they need oh I still haven't I still gotta find King Ragnar okay I have to get six and I've got I've already got one I have 23 days to make that commitment. Okay, we'll finish the training here until we get to six. We've already had one. Hopefully we'll get three, maybe four at a time here. One at a time is going to take a while. Oh man, just one. Okay. supplies so we can now upgrade some of our troops we'll do that right after this yay we got two this time so this will make four that are trained man these guys know what they're doing Peasants are ready to rock. Oh my goodness, I missed. This one's tough. Okay, let's level up our tribesmen. And move them up. Now we should only need to train two more. Hopefully we'll get them both right here. Yes. Alright, and then we just got one fight with the bandits and we should be done. We got maxed out guys here. No? Just our cavalry and a few infantry, so we'll let them go have some fun. Please. 
I have stuff to be doing. Tell them they need it more than you do, then you even get more of the ranking with the village. So, we have a 10 with them. Alright, we need to go find King Ragnar. So, let's go do that. There's a couple of my fellow men. I will ask them, where is King Ragnar? Quinn, okay. I think that is in the Nordlands. Like right over in between this island. Yep, yeah, right here. On the island. Alright, I think I need to pay attention here. I think the Serenid would consider me a enemy at the moment, but I don't want to find out the hard way. Alright, we've got some more guys that have leveled. Yarl, Yarl, Yarl. Let's just see if maybe the king's over here. Nope. That's the Yarl. Okay, let's figure out where that is. Over here, okay. Quit running away, King. There you are. You can always tell because he's got a massive number of men. Okay, we're just pledging our homage to him. He's given, a, given us machine which is usually the very first village ransacked in any war. <laughs> but that's okay. At the moment, it's not. Oh, I got a sneeze. <coughs> Hopefully that wasn't too loud. All right. Level up some of these men. Oh, nice. Six of them. And Bahishter has also leveled. I'm going to start his trainer ability. He's already at power draw three. I am. I guess I, it didn't matter. I don't think I've given him a bow at all. I haven't. So I'll give him this nomad bow. Some arrows. He can shoot to his heart's content. We had some rotten beef. We will have to get rid of that. Okay. The Serenit. Let's see if we're at war with anyone else. No, just the Serenit. So. Okay. Yeah, to be a... To have any of the towns that they have would be way out of the way. So I might just 
hang around here for a little bit, wait for us to get into a fight with someone else that's a little bit closer to home. Like, if we were to get into a fight with the Vagars, I would totally be trying to take Rivacheg or Karaw. So that that would protect our die works. Not to mention it's a nice town to have. Got some more guys leveling up. Look at that. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the stream here. We are, our party's looking really good. We're ready to take a town. Or a castle. Town might, a town might be a little ambitious. I think we could, as long as it wasn't uh, too many high-level troops in there. A town's certainly nice to have. Maybe we'll go for a town when we stream next. If we get into a war with the with the factions a little closer to home, maybe the Vagars. Alright, I think that's going to be it for now.